guys same filming the last update before the finale for my rolling sample project pan so this is where i work on hair skin and body products and right now i actually barely have any samples which is why next year i'm going to change the title of this project pan to just being a non-makeup instead of sample because i'm mostly just working on full-size products at this point and with that being said i have no empties for this month i have a couple miscellaneous empties but nothing else and i thought that would be the case i told you guys i might finish my spot treatment but that would probably be it because i think it was two updates ago when i finished several full-size products so it's going to take me a while to work through these things and then i just have a few more declutters this month which is good i again got rid of a lot of products last month it's also only been about three weeks since my last update so there's a little bit less progress than normal starting with hair care products for Shampoo conditioner, I have the Derma E Scalp Relief line. These are really good. So for shampoo, it was here. Now down to here, so that's pretty good. For conditioner, girl, went from here to here. I probably use a little bit more than necessary, but I really like this duo and the way it makes my hair feel. Then I have this Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo that I added in to use if I felt like my hair just needed a deep clean and I really didn't use too much dry shampoo this month so I didn't use this at all. I don't want to overuse it though because I really love it and it's so expensive. Then for my leave-in I'm using the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. I'm really enjoying this. We were here last update now down to here so one or two more months to finish this up. Then moving on to skincare I'm really sad because I hitch pan on my Clinique take the day off cleansing balm you guys know I was trying to go through this slowly because I only have one makeup remover backup and it's not the Clinique it's the Ankula so I hope I love that one I'm, I'm hoping this will last me maybe two more months but I don't know probably somewhere between one and two I've been doing my makeup a lot recently then for cleanser, we have the Dr. Zenobia 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Cleanser. We were here last month and that's where I am now. And I thought that was really odd. So then I pulled out a brand new bottle and held it up to the light and it is in the same spot. So because of that, I am gonna go ahead and give this away as well. It's just not my favorite. I don't know why, but I prefer having cleanser and exfoliator being two separate products. So I'm going to pass that one on. I just decided that like right before this video. So the cleanser I'm going to start using, I think this one is my oldest full size. This is the Philosophy Purity Cleanser. This is a four fluid ounce size. I absolutely love this product, super gentle. I am excited to work on that. Then for toner i'm using the paula's choice clear anti-redness exfoliating solution i was here last month now down to here so probably two more months and this will be used up i am quite enjoying this and then i have been after my toner going in with this and then on days where i'm removing my makeup at night i am going in with this and then my serum product so i have been getting some good use out of it at least once a day some days i'm using it twice this is the tower 28 daily rescue facial spray i'm still not exactly sure what it does for you but i'm gonna keep on using it so it's brand new all the way down here so i'm gonna be working on this for several more months but i don't mind at all then for serums for the daytime i was going to rotate between these two but i honestly use this like twice and then i stuck to the merit this is the great skin instant glow serum this is a bi-phase product it was brand new now i'm down here i'll be using this for a little while longer but i really really like this it's a super interesting consistency it really feels like an essence or like a little bit thicker than an essence very hydrating though so the replenics i'm going to put back in my collection and use when my skin is a little bit oilier the blemish clarifying acne treatment then for my nighttime serum i am excited to see a little progress here i can't quite see through it but it bends down to 
right under the purple here. So that's really good. This is the number seven advanced retinol 1.5% complex. So this has been my nighttime serum. Not a ton comes out each pump. So I do about three pumps. Then for moisturizer for the daytime, I was using the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb and I'll take a picture. I do think I made a little bit more progress since last month. So I use this for like two weeks and then I decided I wanted something a little bit more hydrating for my daytime moisturizer. So I switched to the Replenix Age Restore Brightening Moisturizer. This is definitely one of my favorite daytime winter moisturizer. So I am excited to use this for the next couple months. I'm not able to see through this for tracking marking purposes. Making good progress on my nighttime moisturizer, the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost. Not quite halfway done, but maybe so. I feel like I have a bigger scoop on one side than the other. But yeah, almost halfway done, which is great. A little bit goes a long way with that. Then for eye cream, I am using the Inkyless Caffeine Eye Cream. I'm using this morning and night. I'm not sure how full it was at the beginning. Right now I'm down here right after the word caffeine, but I feel like I'm gonna be working on this for several more months, which is fine. I really like that. Then I am on to my full size SPF. This is my number one sunscreen. It's so nice. Keep in mind, I don't know anything about SPF mineral versus chemical and all ingredients. I don't know about that stuff. I, I don't really care about that stuff. To me, it depends on the way it looks and feels on my skin. And this is amazing. This is the Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face SPF 30 Sunscreen Serum. And that's why it's amazing because it's so easy to just incorporate into your skincare routine and it just blends into your other products perfectly. Doesn't give a white cast, although I'm super pale, so someone else would really need to test that claim. But we are right here at the top of the word resting. So hopefully this takes me a long time to get through. I really love that. For spot treatment, I'm using the Murad Deep Relief Acne Treatment. This is just a little sample. I'm down here, so I might have enough product for another week or so. Then I have my Replenix Glycolic Salicylic 5-2 Clarifying Pads, and I only use these at night when I did not wear makeup during the day. I wear makeup almost every single day, so I only got to use these twice over the past month, which is not amazing. Then I use this mask one time, the Beauty Counter Reflect Effect AHA Smoothing Facial Mask. I don't like this. I feel like those little beads would not come off my face. I was in the shower, like like really washing, 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 and it would not come off. So that is a little bit annoying. I'll use it up, which might be one or two more uses, but I won't use the other samples I have. I will pass that on. Then for body products, not good. I was doing so good over the summer and a little bit of the fall and then I fell off. So I have the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser, which is for the KP on my arms. This is a value size and this is gonna go very slowly because I'm only putting it on my arms. We went from that line to that line in four uses. Then we have the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Lotion for rough and bumpy skin went from here to here that was four uses as well it's possible i missed a use but i think i've done a decent job of keeping track of that and then i have my pacifica coconut and charcoal underarm detox scrub and i used it twice over the past month which is not amazing but the update prior to that i hadn't used it at all so i'm going to be working on this for forever Right now I'm to the top of the word charcoal. Then we have my Mega Babe Daily Deodorant Rosy Pits that I'm using when I take a shower at night. Again, I've been super lazy and mostly just taking a shower in the morning. I use this one only one time over the past month. And then I wanted to roll in a different lotion to use. And that would be the First Aid Beauty Ultra Pear Cream Candy Cane Scent. This is a limited edition scent. This is the packaging from last year, but they did come back out with these this year. They are on sale half off, so they're only eight bucks for two ounces, which I think is a great price. I would like to use this because it's very winter 
of course. So if I can finish this by the end of winter, that would be amazing. I haven't used it at all yet though, but I feel like the size of this is perfect to encourage me to use my lotion. Just scratched off my makeup. Ouchie. So then for my miscellaneous empties, I finished a travel pack of the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I had had this kicking around for so long. I only use those when I'm traveling because I don't have any mini cleansing balms. And it is something that I do want to keep on hand having just one pack of these for traveling purposes. Then I finished up a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works, the Japanese Cherry Blossom, my favorite scent. I will continue to repurchase what I can get these on a really good deal, but I do have a decent amount of hand sanitizers right now, so I don't need to buy any of those. And then I am tossing this Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It is beat up, has lots of holes in there from my fingernails. This is my favorite sponge. I love the shape of this because I use this side for foundation the pointed side for concealer. Right now I'm using the Amazon Puffs, but in the past I have also just used the back side of this to set my skin with my loose powder, so that's wonderful. Then for my declutters, I am gonna be decluttering the last two I have of this Dr. Zenovia 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Cleanser. My friend Amanda really likes it, so I'm just gonna send it to her. And then I'm also gonna be decluttering these two jumbo sizes I have of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, eight ounce size. And it's not a real declutter because I'm gonna be putting these with Landon's things. We're almost done with the Derma E lotion he's using right now. And I feel like this will work perfectly for him. And these are such a good value. I'm so glad I got them. And if we finish these up by next year, I probably will pick up two more for Landon during Sephora Black Friday sale because this is a fantastic formula. But because of how big it is, I think that's one of the reasons I don't reach for it very often. I do have several little mini sizes of the Ultra Repair Cream, so I will use that for hand lotion. I'm not very good at putting lotion on my body. I need to be better, but my hands definitely get drier in the winter. So I think those will be better used by Landon. And this was one of the shorter updates I've had in a while because no empties to share, which is sad. I don't know if I've had another month with no empties, but I hope you guys will look forward to the finale. It's gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna show you the things that I used up. I'm not gonna show you the progress and the things I have left. You will see that in my 2023 intro in January. So I'll show you the things I used up and then I'm gonna give you numbers for all of the foil sample, deluxe sample, and full size hair, skin, and body products I used up, as well as the things that I decluttered. I will calculate that as well. And I will also be sharing with you the products that I tried that I would purchase. So usually it's samples I would purchase in the full size and I am going to talk about those, but I've worked on so many full size products this year that were things that were sent to me in PR. So I will include those as well and see if I liked any of those enough to want to buy them myself. So hopefully you guys will be interested to get all of those tidbits together in one video coming in just a few weeks. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.